Damn me wait a whole what hour, a whole hour. It started with the penis part. Y'all ain't ready for this one. They ain't ready. Do you mean and brands up? For what? What's your boy DME? All right, boys, let's get into this. Initiation finally over. It's finally over. Midnight. Now, you know, it's on the West Coast, so we get it. We get a three hour difference. You know, um, yeah, these pay per views, they're like, it's like, a, it's like a journey, you know, it's like a long, like, drawn out journey. A lot going on, a lot going on. You're, you're just, you just, it's, it's, it takes up your whole day. It takes up your whole day. It's not like, you know, normal pay per views where, like, you know, wrestling or, or, UFC or boxing starts at 8, ends at 11. No, no, no. You start around 6, and you end at midnight. If you're lucky, if you're lucky, you're only ending this early, right? You're only ending this early because, you know, Danny Myers and Twerk got uh, canceled. He got canceled. But whatever. What are you going to do? Uh, Beasley came out and said that um, Twerk was in a hospital. Um, I'm, I'm, it's sounding like he never even flew to California. Uh, and then he was trying to get discharged, didn't get discharged in time. So he couldn't catch his flight to come, something with his stomach or something. I don't know, man. You know, if it's something serious, hopefully, you know, he gets a full recovery. But it was very disappointing that this battle didn't happen, man. It just, it just, it just, it just, it just sucks. It really sucks, man. And I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, he's got a doctor's note. So what are you going to do? Anyways, you know, we talked about that already. So we'll, we'll, we'll move on. We'll move on. Um... You know, we started off with the drugs battle, the drugs and, and uh, Stewie. Um, I gave that to Stewie in a one-rounder. The drugs was decent. It was good. It was good. And then, you know, come to the pay-per-view. Now, remember, mind you, the first few few battles had mic issues, a lot of mic issues, terrible mic issues. And Avocado blamed, Avocado blamed the venue for it, being very un, uh, not helpable. Is that, is that a word? Helpable? Helpable? No, it's not right. But you get it. You get it. Um... And then, uh, so, okay, so what was pass, 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 passwords, and uh, what was it, the saga? Uh, no, no, pass YK, see, I'm just, uh, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired, what am I going to do? So pass YK, pass YK, uh, I, I gave this to YK 2-1. I just feel like YK, you know, he's good, bro, he's good, he's really good. But he always, it's like, I think he does it on purpose. He'll always throw some, like, Martin bar in there or Friday bar or something, just something that's been said a billion times. He had a, he had a, he had a Martin bar here. <laughs> I just, I, I knew it. I called it. It's every battle. It's every battle, but I thought Paz was pretty good. I think the mic, the, the mic issues really ruined it for me. So, you know, I need to go back and watch it, you know, see how it turns out um, on, on cam, like on cam, 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 not regular live cam, but cam, you know what I mean? Um, I see a lot of people like there, there was a poll up that had pass winning two to one and 69%. percent um, i do not know, know about that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll check it out. You know, we'll, whatever. But uh, that happened. So, uh, what else was there, man? What, I, I, oh yeah, Saga is Emerson Kennedy. Saga battle Emerson Kennedy. Now this was a, this was a good battle. This was a good battle, man. I thought Saga did pretty good in this one. I gave I gave it to um, to Saga two to one out actually. I don't I don't think um, Emerson was bad though. Emerson, Emerson did his thing, man, but um, I think I gave this to Saga, man. Um, I really like Saga's second and third, I believe. I think that's the rounds I gave him. I got to double check, man. My memory is so shot. This is first watch reaction, guys, you know, and then that was like five hours ago, like literally, and um, I'm thinking it was the second and third round, man, but I don't know. Maybe if I watch it, I'll have Emerson. Everybody, a lot of people have seen to have Emerson, so. Um, two, but I'm, uh, oh, oh, okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. I just remembered. No, 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 Not all came back to me. Sorry. Scratch everything I just said. Just came back to me. No. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I thought the first round, right, was debatable. I think I gave the second to Saga. The third round, Saga choked. Saga choked. He lost the third. He, I just remembered. He lost the third clearly. He didn't finish the battle. He pulled the Suicer. I don't know how many bars he got off, but I got to go back and check that, too. Didn't seem a lot to me. You know, it seemed like maybe maybe a tad bit more than Sue Surf uh, gave us. So, like I said, you didn't finish the battle. You didn't finish the fight. Uh, Emerson, 2-1. Emerson, 2-1. I forgot. Yep. No, 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 no. no I can't. I can't, man. You got to finish the fight. I'll go back and watch it. May, uh, a lot of people have the saga winning the first two rounds. Um, I still think that first is debatable, though. I thought Emerson was good in his first. 
So I don't know, man. Whatever. We'll we'll see how it turns out. Um. So that I mean, there was that. So yeah, he choked. He choked. He choked. Sorry, Saga, but he did. He did. He did. I mean, you pulled the surf. Uh, we'll go back and see how many uh, how many lines you actually got off. All right. Tech not first, get you got it. Tech not first, get you got it. Body bag. Body bag, body bag, body bag, bow. That's when bow applies. Bow, right here, it applies. Bow, pick it nine. Bow. Geechee, mm mm. Nah, 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 nah. Mm mm, mm mm, mm mm. Three solid rounds. Geechee gave us another classic third round. You know, Geechee's becoming famous for his third rounds, kind of like B, uh, T, T Rock second. Right? Geechee. I thought his second was the weakest, but he had some fire in his second. He, all right, but I still think it was his weakest. Now, Tech Nine, man. First of all, he wasn't, he wasn't bad in his first round. I thought he was okay in his second. But for, just for the record, Geechee would have beat a lot of people tonight. A lot of people. He probably would have beat everybody tonight. I don't know who, who he would have lost to. Honestly, I think Geechee would have beat everybody tonight. So there's that. But in the third round, Tech Nine choked. And then he did a whole Warren G uh, regulators, uh, uh, not a scheme, he just he wrapped it. He, he was choking. I think it was choking. I don't know. Now, mind you, it was 155 degrees in the venue, no air condition yet again. This is becoming a joke. These guys, you, you can't have them battle in these circumstances. What are we doing here? They're, uh, they're, especially towards the, the, the guys waiting so long towards the end. What? what, what? 150 degrees all day, waiting, 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 get up there. and then, where, is the, where is the air? So he chokes, or he stopped. He stopped rapping, he choked. And then he, I thought he was going to stop. And then he went into a whole, he sang the whole, he did a whole, he, did, he, he rapped the whole first verse from Regulators, Warren G. Regulators! Mound the fire song. Fire, fire song. I, I love that album. I love the Warren G album. All right, I was bumping that. That was that was that G funk, right, baby? Boom! Love the G funk. Wow, ah, what were you doing? What is that? Like, what is that? What was that? Oh, techie tech, tech, tech. On tech. That's what's trending on Twitter. On tech. On tech. So this was a three-o body bag. I'm sorry, Tech Nine. Uh, 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 you know, I don't know. I don't know what to say on this one, bro. I, honestly, I don't know what else to say, bro. So, um, all right. So let's go. Let's move on. Let's move on from that. You know, Geechee, Geechee, bro. You, you're, the, you, you, you're one of them dudes, bro. You're one of those dudes. All right. Mike P versus P. Dot. Battle of the night. All right. I'm giving this battle of the night. This was fire. All right. I do have some problems with it, though. I've seen a lot of 3-0 B. Dots out there. All right. Um, come to the conclusion that you guys just don't like Mike P. I mean, I don't know what it is. You know, every battle, you just don't like him. You don't like him. I thought Mike P was fired. He had a line. He had that, uh, 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 45. Hold on. What was it? What was it? Hold on, man. I, I, I know I got it here somewhere. I know I got it here somewhere. Right. I, I, I have to, right. But where, where is, where is it? No. 45. 45, split your fat. Hold on. I want to get it right because it was that fire. It was that fire. All right? It, it literally was that fire, bro. All right? Don't mind me and my memory, all right? My memory doesn't take away from how fire it was. Donald Trump, the 45 splitting families apart. Let me tell you something. That, that's a Don DeMarco. Don, de, 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 Don DeMarco. Room shaker. Shut the building down. Got no reaction. It got no reaction. None. It's crickets. If B dot would have said that line, bro, there, that place would have got shut down. I'm telling you right now, it got shut down. Fire bar, bro. Fire bar. Oh. All right. I get the first round of B dot. B that was good. It was good. B dot. B dot. Oh, listen, 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 listen. B dot's fire. We know that. I have. I have. I have never called. I have. I've never had. B, I have B dot winning every battle he's battled. I don't think I have him losing any battles. I have him like nine, whatever he is. How many battles do you have? Ten, nine, nine, nine and all to me. All right, I have him beating everybody. Slightly edging Cortez. Slightly. Um, all his battles. All his battles. I have him winning just, you know, on a slight edge. I don't, I don't think he has any body bags in his belt. But um, 
Here's the deal. <laughs> I, look, so he, he goes in his third. Okay, the second round, um, I gave it to Mike Pete, actually. I thought Mike Pete was fired in that round, but uh, B-Dot was really good. He, you know, he, you could have edged it to him. You could have edged it to him. I don't know. I don't know. I, but I think it. I think it's. I think it's not. Um. I think it's. Uh. I think my P. T- I think my P took that round. The second round. I'll give it to him. All right. Mike looks. At both these guys. They were rapping, bro. This is. This is. This was battle of the night. Hundred percent. There's no other battle that even compares to this. Every other battle. This is the only competitive battle. Well, well you know. I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it just. It was. It was the best back and forth. I'll tell you that. The third round. Now. Mike, Mike went, and, you know, he was, he was really good. He was really good. I think that's where he actually had the 45 line. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like I said, first watch. But I thought Mike P would, did really good in that second, that third round. He was talking to me. He was talking to me. He, you know, he had the whole angle with, um, uh, about, you know, about how B-Dot had the third round angle against URL. And he was saying, oh, you know, somehow all his hypocrisy, all the beat. And B-Dot does, you know, he has a lot of, a lot, a lot of, a lot of hypocrisies there that you can point, point to. You know, he, he definitely does. You know, so B-Dot's one of my favorites. So you can't, you can't say I'm being biased there. He, he literally is one of my favorites, him and Geechee. But Mike P did great with that. Mike P did actually, he did really good with that. So B-Dot goes, right? He starts talking about some DM when Mike P apologized, right? And then um, he used that to transition into um, a whole race angle with the Europeans. And listen, no, but I know, I know, listen, I know my history, guys. I know my, history was my favorite, favorite subject. It's the only subject I liked in, 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 in school. And forget school. It's what you learn afterwards, what you learn yourself. The school, what they teach you, it's all, a lot of it's trash. All right? History's always been my, uh, my, my number one thing that I love. And um, he goes into the whole, you know, white man deal and, 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 like, Europeans. And I just don't understand how this applies to Mike P. So, basically, you're telling me anybody that you're battling – that's not, that's white, that applies to them. I mean, that's basically what, what you're saying to me, all right? So it's, that's, I don't understand that. Um, now, you take B. Dot's verse as a standalone verse, fire. What he was saying in it was, was fire, all right? You put that on a beat, I'm bumping that every day, like, 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 like styrofoams and ashtrays. Just the same thing, styrofoams, B. Dot. Third round, styrofoam's beat. I, I, that's what I, that's what I'll be bumping all day before punks, you know, hits me in the head. Ow! Relax. Anyways, I just don't understand where this applies. A lot of people had that problem with B dot uh, when he battled Emerson in, in his third round there, and they said it didn't apply. I actually um, defended B dot there and said it did. It did apply because he he brought it for a circle on Emerson when he was talking about Smack and how Smack's using him and playing him in the whole situation. So it was it was directed. I still think, and I still think to this day, B dot third round against Emerson Kennedy was directed at Emerson Kennedy. But this here, I mean, guys, I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what Mike P has to do with any of this. All right, it's just a generic. Um, you're using it. You're using a generic white guy to make him um, feel sorry about everything that he was rapping about in his verse, you know, like, like he should feel guilty about it. This was, you know, this is your ancestors. Like, all right. So it's hard for me to judge this battle. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it was battle tonight. It was a fire battle. I still, I still love B-Dot's third round. Like, don't get me wrong. I did. I thought it was fire. He, B-Dot delivers the way he delivers. He he does rap a little bit too fast. I'll tell you that. He does rap a little bit too fast. You could slow it down a little bit, B-Dot. You know, that wouldn't hurt. Just, just, just a couple of notches. However, uh, this, all three of the, these, both, all three, of the, all, all, all these rounds, all, all three, all six of these rounds by Mike P and B. Dot, I enjoyed, I enjoyed all of them. I think this is debatable. Everybody's giving it to B. Dot. I, I haven't seen anybody giving it to Mike P. So the consensus has B. Dot winning the battle. That's great. Um, I was just a little bit disappointed in the round, the route we went again, you know, here. Um, I understand why people love it. You know, it, it means something. But I, it just doesn't – and you could see Mike P while he was standing there listening to it. He kept putting – he was like this, bro. He's like, come on, man. Uh, all right, what am, what, what am I supposed to do? Like, what, like, what am I supposed to do? And he called he, – <laughs> what was funny, b Dot called Mike P a wigger like three times. Of all the white bat, rap, battle rappers, this doesn't apply to Mike P. He's not – he's not. 
<laughs> you can say that about a, a lot of other white battle rappers, you know, like 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 money bag, you can say, but, but but Mike P, Mike P, you can is is just himself. He just acts like himself. He never he, he never per perpetrates. I don't think so. Like he seems like who he what he's rapping. That's him. It's genuine. You're like you hear him off, uh, you know, on his on when he does his little blog. It seems genuine. So I don't know how that even applies. So, you know, like I said, fire third round again by B dot. Um, if you think it applies, then yeah, you got to give this battle to B dot. But um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I still give second round on Mike P. That first round is debatable. I edge it to B dot, and then the third round, I, I got to watch it again because. I really want to listen. I want to listen. Of course, I want to hear B dots again, but I really want to remember. I'm trying to remember Mike's P's verse. I know that was one of his more, more fire verses. So there's that. All right. So we'll move on from that. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, and then, they, you know, then they go and they finally, they finally announce right before the main event. Smack announces, excuse me, that twerk and uh, Danny Meyer is not going down. Um, you know, like, I'll be real. Like, it's, it's a little bit, like, the way you handle it, yeah, you know, the way they handle it is um, correct for if you're talking strictly business. If you're talking strictly business, URL handled this 100% correct. If they wanted to maximize the pay-per-view sales for today as a business entity, they wanted to make as much money as possible, they handled this 100% correct in that aspect. However, by not mentioning it, when you, you knew before the pay-per-view started that this battle wasn't happening. What I gathered from the Beasley interview is Swift didn't even get on the plane. So you knew this the whole time. The, the only way that we the, we, the fans found out about it is because people started talking about it on Twitter and then Danny Myers finally tweeted it. There was no word from Twerk, no word from everybody, no word from URL, no word from nobody. So if you're just a battle rap fan who, 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 who's not on Twitter, right? And you, and you ordered this event and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and you know, I, if you ordered this event, as a, because uh, you want to see Danny Myers and Twerk, that was the reason why I ordered it, you know? Um, would I have ordered it anyways? I, honestly, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know because I just, it just didn't entice me. The card didn't entice me like that. But, but, but with Danny Myers, like, that's the one, that's, like, that's why I paid for this. And so if you're a, a Battle Rap fan who's not, on, who's not on Twitter and not following Danny Myers, there's two caveats here. You're not on Twitter, but even if you are on Twitter and if you're not, and if you're not following Danny Myers, you would have no clue that this battle's not happening. So you're sitting there waiting for hours and hours and you're waiting and waiting and at the main event, they tell you that, you know? So, you know, what the, what the right thing would have been done to do is to announce it, you know, before the pay-per-view if people have last minute thoughts because, you know, you, you, are, you knew this. You know, like I said, it's not the right business move, but it would have been the right move, you know, for your fans. And I'm, let me tell you, bro, um, there's a lot of people disappointed with this pay-per-view. Uh, a lot of bad, you know, yeah, there were, like, honestly, the only fire battle was uh, Mike P and B-Dot. We're going to get to Rum Nitty and Briz in a second. Um, I think Geechee had a fire performance. I think Eck and uh, Saga was okay and, and decent. You know, and uh, the YK battle in, in past, I got to watch it again. I wasn't that excited. So a lot of, like, a lot of people, they, they were already, people are already talking about because, you know, you got some madness coming up. You got the Smack Line 3 coming up. You got some madness, some madness, some madness coming up. Part 1, part, part, part 8, part, part 7, part 8. Murder Mook, Rare Pre. Um, you know, now, now we're really getting into some heavy, heavy money here that you're expecting fans to pay. And... Uh, you know, at Nome, you had the Sue Surf situation followed up by this. It's a bad look. And now, now, now people are, are they're really starting to um, question whether they should, you know, plop the money down. Is it, is it worth it for them? I, you know, I don't blame them. I can't, I can't sit here and blame people. I just, I can't. Look, you're a business. You're big boys. You know, you got to take the good with the bad, man. All we do is we praise you about everything, blah, 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 blah. You do great. Da, 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 da. And then, you know, well, but you got to take the good with the bad. You just got, you do. I'm sorry. You just do. And it's another, it's another bad look here. It's another bad look, so. Rum Nitty, this is, this is, oh my God, bro. Rum Nitty, Briz Rostein, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. This is ridiculous. This, what is going on with Briz Rostein and Beasley? I need to know what's happening with Briz Rostein. What, is there a rivalry here? Do these people, do they not like each other? What's happening? All night, I didn't see the timekeeper one time. No, the, no camera was flashed on anybody holding their phone, looking at the time. No Beasley looking at the fuck to the time. Briz Rothstein comes up for, I think, the fourth battle in a row. 
and gets called time on him in his first and second round. How? Even Briz said, put this in your blogs. Put this in your blogs. What's going on? This is ridiculous. Even Romniti said, let him rap. And they still call time on him, man. Why? And then the whole time Briz is battling, you can see Beasley in the back holding the phone, looking at the time. I kid you not. You never once in the entire event did you see Beasley looking at the time. But Briz Rothstein gets up there, and now we have time issues. Bro, this, I'm a, I, I am at a point. I'm a real conspiracy DME, do, 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 right? That Beasley and Briz are in on this. It has to be. I think Briz and Beasley have an uh, uh, understanding Briz tells Beasley, you know what? I'm just going to rap. This is going to be my gimmick. I'm just going to keep rapping and keep rapping and keep rapping, and you're going to call time on me, and I'm going to be pissed. You know, I'm, we're going to do that. Because it doesn't. There's no, other, there's no other explanation here. Nothing. This doesn't make sense. How can he be the only battler who gets called time on him? I'm sure B-Dot had a few longer rounds than uh, Briz did. What are we doing here? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> now, as far as the battle goes, Rum Nitty, listen, Rum Nitty's Rum Nitty, bro. Rum Nitty did his thing. Rum Nitty's a, you know, a punch after punch. No, he doesn't, he doesn't leave one syllable um, left on, left, left, not, you know, uh, he just, everything. He just, he uses, it just, it just it doesn't stop, Rum Nitty. Very creative. Had some fire, fire bars, fire rounds in here. Um, I, I think I had a 1-1 one, one going into that third. I, I was confused, though, because, you know, Briz, Briz had some dry spots here and there. But Briz, this was a way better Briz, in my opinion, than the Briz that battled Charlie Clips. I think this was a much better Briz roster. It really was. I was more engaged in this performance. Um, uh, I didn't think it was cringy at all. Like, I thought of some parts of the Charlie Clips battle was, you know what I mean? So, but this time situation threw me off because I couldn't believe it, all right? They did it to him against uh, O-Red. They did it to him in his last, his last three or four battles. They've done this to him. This is a running joke now. So, in the third round, they didn't call time on him because, listen, this was the last battle. You could tell these guys were exhausted. They were sweating. It was so hot, which is a huge issue, you are really. This cannot continue to happen. You have to put these battlers in good situations to perform. You can't have them battling in 200-degree weather indoors in California. This, this can't happen. You need to bring a back backup air, air conditioning system with you wherever you go. Pay for it. You're going to have to spring for something. This is ridiculous. Mike P was tweeting that fans, people are passing out in the, in the venue from heat exhaustion. Anyways. Um, I don't know, man. This battle, I don't know. I, I, Rum Nitty, and I think the third round was the worst round of all, all three, all, for all the battlers. I think Rum Nitty... He was all right, and then he, I think he cut it short, and even and Briz. I, I actually busted out my clock on my phone. I wanted to see how long Briz was going to go in the third to see they're going to call time on him and what, at what point they call time on him. And I clocked him at 3.28, and then he just stopped. He was like, I'm just done, man. I'm done. Just enough's enough, man. But you can see the whole time, in the, even in the third round, Beasley's looking at that clock, and then he's looking over, and he's like, oh, we're getting about to 3.30. I don't know about to call time on. What, what is that? You tell me, guys. I don't know what this is. This has got to be a conspiracy. Briz and Beasley, you're working together. You have to be. There's no other explanation that makes sense here. You have to be working together. Overall, what do I give now? I'm, now, the saying Danny Myers and Twerk is going to happen within a week or two somewhere on the West Coast. Beasley didn't really seem confident about it. You know, when he was speaking about it, he was like, yeah, we'll see. It's all uncharted waters or something, whatever he said. Um, so we'll figure it out. But they're promising they're going to, they're going to, that battle is going to go down as a, a one-off one -off somewhere, you know. It's just terrible, man. Terrible, man. Danny Myers, bro, the bar guy does not deserve this. Uh, man, I'm, I'm going to give Twerk the benefit of the doubt, man. And But, man, oh, man, man, it just sucks for the bar guy, man. Because you know he was going to. This would have been this would have been battle of the night. This would have saved the pay-per-view. I promise you. Overall. If I had to go back, like I did yesterday, the buy and sell and buyers, buyers, knowing what I know now, would I have bought this uh, pay-per-view? Straight up, honestly, nope, not even a chance.
no way, no Jose would I have bought this pay-per-view knowing what I know now. Uh, and, and, you know, it's, I know it's easy to say that, but, I mean, just, that's, just the, that's just the truth. It's just the truth. Um, overall, like, like I, 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 I don't know, man. I would give this like a four or a five, man. That five, I think five is being generous. I think a five is being generous. So, and I had, I had high expectations for this card, to be real. But my, my, my high expectations were hinging on that Danny Myers truck bat. So that, 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 that's the problem. That's the problem. So a four or five, man. I don't know, man. Whatever, man. Maybe these battles will be better once they come out, you know, in 2021, you know, on YouTube. You know, I'm sure that's how when it will come out. What is it? We're in 2018. Yeah, I'll give it 2020. January of 2020 is when these battles might drop, you know, and then we'll, 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 uh, we'll reblog about it in, in two years, you know. I'm working on my smack beard. I'm working on my smack beard. Till next time, boys. Peace.